This is episode eight of the Big Data NBA video educational series, and this one's on the four stages of data monetization. Now, this is something actually new that I've recently created, and I want to use this as a chance to introduce this. As many of you know, over the past couple of months, I've been spending a lot of time talking to various different organizations about their data monetization strategies. And what I've learned from those conversations I thought were very illuminating. First off, and not surprisingly, most organizations have no idea how to proceed. Many organizations think that data monetization is a technology conversation, not a business conversation. Most organizations lack the experience, the people, methodology for how to even do it. And finally, the, most organizations don't even realize that they're smack dab in the middle of a data monetization battle today. They don't think they are, but companies all around them, and this has become very evident in the COVID-19 situation, is that the companies that are succeeding or at least surviving in the COVID-19 pandemic are those that are mastering the leverage in the data, leveraging the customer product and operational insights buried in the data to really optimize their business. So I wanted to create and share with people a four-stage process that organizations can go through in order to be successful. So stage number one, this is where the vast majority of companies are today. The data is a cost to be minimized. And organizations of all sizes capture data. You don't need to be a big organization to capture data. All organizations of all sizes are capturing data. The differentiation isn't in the possession of the data, right? In fact, there are, there are costs and liabilities associated with the storage of data. No, the, the real value of data is how you use it. And so in order to move out of stage one, where data is a cost to be minimized and you're doing everything you can to try to minimize those costs, like hello cloud, right? Stage two is where organizations are starting to explore the data monetization conversation. They're starting to build prototypes and more importantly, proof of values that are taking key business use cases of very much a business concentric conversation and starting to apply data to those use cases. This, this transition here from, from stage one to stage two, right? is really driven by the fact that organizations are realizing that data monetization is not a technology conversation, it's a business conversation. And so they're starting to bring in some business people and some have some friendlies where they're starting to identify those use cases, those business and operational use cases, they can, they can use data to try to optimize them. And what happens is the value chart here is while the cost is still higher than the value received, we can start, we can see here between one and two, we've we flattened the curve and we're starting to go forward here. We're starting to move forward where the value that we get out of data is greater than the cost we're spending to take it, to keep it. Now, the real key point here is, is a break even point between two and three. And this is where organizations have now built enough use cases. They now have enough experience. They now have a methodology and a people skilled in this where they can now start to accelerate the application of data and when I say the application data, I'm talking about the customer product and operational insights buried in the data. And they're using those insights for propensities, or inclinations, those trends, those patterns, right? Those relationships to try to optimize their key use cases. And what's happening as they go into stage three is by, three, by the virtue of reusing their data and analytics, they're shrinking time to value and de-risking the projects associated with those use cases. And we can see the value start to build slowly, right? Use case by use case, organizations are reusing their data and reusing their analytics to achieve that economic value. And finally, between three and four here, this is the area of the Schmarzo Economic Digital Asset Valuation Theorem. This is where value explodes through the reuse and refinement, the continued refinement of the data and analytics and those refinements, those improvements, rippling themselves back through previous use cases. So a 1% improvement in anomaly detection model or a propensity to buy model, ripples back through every other use case that uses that. And every one of those use cases just got more effective at a marginal cost equal to zero. So this is something that's new. I would love your feedback on this. I plan on spending more time on this because as again, as many as you know, I'm having lots of conversations with organizations as I seek out this chief data officer role or more importantly, this chief data monetization officer role. I think that organizations, the reason why they struggle with data monetization is because they haven't gone forward and put somebody in charge of that. Somebody who can straddle both the business and the IT organization, who can look at both the technology of AI and ML and data lakes to create assets that are continuously and to get more valuable, right? But also empowering the humans 
so that they can interact with those AI and ML models. So you have this synergistic learning environment. Now I will conclude here by saying, there are two types of organizations that I've talked to who seem to get this. Now we know the big players, the Apples and Microsoft, the Amazons and Netflix, these folks understand data monetization. They understand they're in the data monetization business and they're mastering it, right? They're, if you look at the companies at the top of the S&P 500, these are companies who are mastering data monetization. But there are other two other kinds of companies out there that are learning to master data monetization. One, that there are tech companies out there who will realize they're sitting on a gold mine and they need to help their customers unleash the value of their investments in their products. The technology vendors realize that it's their job to help their customers transition from one to two to three to four. And of course, the consulting companies are out there realizing that they can help jumpstart companies to move along this path. Now, my, my caution there is watch out for the big bang approach. If somebody knocks on your door and says it's going to cost you $30 million to go from one to four, I would show them the door out because I think that's the wrong way to attack this. I think it's a use case by use case where each use case builds value. And again, I'll conclude by saying COVID-19 has exacerbated this problem. Every company has data. If you're big, small, medium, it doesn't matter. If you're public or non-public, if you're profit or non-profit, right? You all have data. Having data is insufficient. COVID-19 has shown us that the companies that are surviving and some that are even flourishing in COVID-19 are the ones who are learning how to take those customer product and operational insights buried in that data and using that to transverse the data monetization maturity level here. Thanks for your time. Please do give me feedback if this made sense or not. Cheers.